Hello Aquarius, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I will be using the deck of the Qatars. This is the Dutch translation. Look up Qatars with eventually a C or an S at the end. Also use the H to know the story about the Qatars. What I can tell you is that it's about a medieval people who believed they lived in the Matrix. They just called it the Shadow World. And if you want to know more, definitely look up more. That's about all I'm going to say about the Qatars. So get, let's get into your reading. Let me shuffle a bit better. So within this reading, I'm going to pull five cards. One concerning your probable problem or your problem that you might be experiencing. I'm going to pull four additional cards to concerning negative aspects about the problem and two concerning positive aspects. So I'm going to measure twice, cut once. The problem, the negative aspects and the positive aspects. So with this problem, we have the eight of shields in the upright. The eight of shields points to Mercury within this card, it, every, it has a, a feeling of going back to the country for renewal. Some people think this card has something to do with falling in love and taking a break to reevaluate the direction you were going in your life. In this period, we have somebody who is so special to us, we might see them standing again, or the events might be happening fast and at a, at a fast pace. So you might be experiencing seeing problems with things going too fast in your life, Pisces. Um, it might point to events or contracts that are made and maybe the, the buying of a house or the negative aspect it might be regrets for missed chances. So let's see what the negative aspects are here within this reading. It is the Parfait, and, which is the Magician, and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Parfait within this reading is one who is perfectly enlightened and who has the knowledge of the, of the Qatars and, the, and the, the books. Who So this Parfait, or Magician, it says, perfection exalts the good man or woman above the everyday. So going for perfection within the imperfection you are, you are able, you are certain, you have willpower, you are focused, you have diplomacy, subtlety, and mind goes above matter within this reading. So within the Knight of Swords, you have an adventurous person within your life who might be a bit of a mischief because it's in the negative aspects of life of, of the reading I'm sorry so the knight of swords is also somebody who is very um, a strong friend who might uh, guide you and make you reflect on things so he might be the inspiration to meditate and think ahead. Uh, the Qatarian um, um, implication of self-control leads the believer or seeker to his goal instead of making hurried decisions and hurried and ex excessive action. Here the Qatar uh, reaches to the, role, to the role of the magician or the parfait, so he understands the balance, that balance is important. So you have the straight, you have the card up straight in the negative position. So you might be struggling with being brave a bit, being cunning, knowing your merits, having force and um, her heroic deeds. Uh, being a champion, having self-control, or maybe you're a bit careless, you're a bit vain, your actions are a bit impulsive, so that might be the negative aspect. You might have some weakness and bad news. Let's look at the positive aspects. 
or let's relate this to the card of uh, having a renewal in your life with the one you love you might be one of you might be a little adventurous while the other is seeking perfection and to exalt the everyday in life and we also uh, we also have it's the same reading as Aquarius nearly only a little different in positioning so this card is pointing to the tree of wisdom and the death card so there is transformation in your life Pisces maybe with the one you love you might be going separate ways so it might be pointing to this but let's see what the tree of pentacles or the tree of wisdom says it is definitely a card about spiritual uh, spirituality going deep within the own conscious and awareness being aligned with spiritual forces to support you so whatever direction you take with your spouse or your partner um, be concisive within your activity and learn to be seen and, and expect abundance of work concerning this relationship maybe so you might be going to transformation and also what else um i don't know it points to power importance uh, status fame and success this card so one of you might be going for this aspect in life going to be more recognized in public and the other might go through a transformation and go towards uh, enlightenment so the ways might separate a bit within this card pointing to a committed relationship that was very dear to both of you you were very understanding toward each other but there's like a transformation coming up and you want more adventure in your life or the other one or maybe both you want to be more spiritual and still have a little fame and success in what you do even though even all it's for the for the angels who, who guide you i don't know so i hoped this reading made any sense to you pisces and i hope to see you next time maybe so take care and goodbye